What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walk through the fire, came out better on the other side. See lights like a beach if you find the same. And right now, I'm feeling like a hundred grand. You are listening to Inspired Insider with your host, Dr. Jeremy Wise. Dr. Jeremy Weiss here. I am the founder and host of InspiredInsider.com, where I talk with inspirational entrepreneurs and leaders. Today is no different. And this is a special episode. I am actually interviewing founders and CEOs live at the Sweets and Snacks show. And so check it out. Um, We have some amazing companies featured. Check this episode out. And before I get to that, this episode is brought to you by Rise25. At Rise25, we help businesses give to and connect to their dream 100 relationships. Uh, how do we do that? We help you run your podcast. We are an easy button for an organization or business to launch and run your podcast. I've been podcasting for over a decade now. You know, For me, the number one thing in my life is relationships. I'm always looking at ways to give to my best relationships. And I found no better way to do that than to profile the people and the companies I most admire, feature them on my podcast, and shout from the rooftop. So what they're working on and what they're doing. So if you've thought about starting a podcast, you should. If you have questions, you can go to rise25.com or email us support at rise25.com to learn more. Now check out today's episode. Live from the Sweet Snack Show. Jeremy Weiss here. We're live at the Sweets and Snack Show. I'm here with Chris of Chocolate Moonshine. And Chris, tell people about your company and some of the products. Well, thank you for being here with us. Uh, we are a luxury chocolate maker. Uh, we've been producing chocolates and fudge for about 30 years now. Uh, the brand is Chocolate Moonshine. And what we produce are handcrafted, handmade confections with French and Belgian chocolate or bean de bar chocolate. What you're looking at right there is a hand-cast pina colada that's made with 34% Jamaican rum, that's made with fresh pineapple, fresh coconut. My mouth is watering just talking about it. It is absolutely off the chart delicious. On this line, we do about 20 flavors that are alcohol infused. We do 30 flavors without alcohol. If it is alcohol infused, it's cooked off so it's legal, but it has that incredible rum taste or bourbon or whiskey uh, or Irish cream flavor. What are some of the fan favorites as far as the alcohol infused? Probably the top few are black cherry bourbon. That's 54% distilled bourbon. That's crushed black cherries. We have a smoked whiskey piece. Um, And then we have a rum runner, which is 36% Jamaican rum. So those are, some of the, those are some of the biggest ones. And we create different collections with the alcohol. We have one that's the boozy collection, which is our top 10 booze flavors. We have a distillery collection, which is uh, two each of our top five flavors. And uh, those equal about 50% of our total sales. People love the alcohol, it's fun, it's delicious, and they're not getting drunk, but they're enjoying the experience. So where can people find it? Where do they get it? Well, if you go to a show, whether it be a craft show, for the last three days, we were just at an anime show here in Chicago at Rosemont Convention Center. We served an average of 600 customers a day at that show. Uh, We sold several thousand pounds of confections. And uh, we do approximately 100 shows a week on our busy weeks. We do about 2,000 shows a year. And then we do trade shows like this, where we're engaging with a retailer uh, a high-end specialty retailer is where you'll find our products, but a, at a, quite a few shows too. We have a network of several hundred people that sell our product nationwide through shows, through events, through pop-ups. Uh, they may go into a retailer location, um, a prestigious uh, grocery store, and you'll see our, our product in the grocery store, and they're there for four days. They sell and, they, and they're gone. So Chris, what's your background? Well, it's interesting. I uh, became a health fanatic when I was 15 years old, decades ago, and I used to lecture on weight loss, weight gain, and I would travel around with other people. And at one of those lectures, um, it was at Hanscom Air Force Base, and the moderator of the lecture said, okay, break time. 
And uh, we've got jelly donuts and croissants in the back. And people get up and they march to the back like, oh my gosh. You know, they're just, we're trying to help them learn and teach about their weight and they're eating jelly donuts and croissants. I said, all right, I'm going to give people something they want, but it's going to be healthier for you. So our items are made oftentimes with organic ingredients. They're all natural ingredients. They're made with lower amounts of sugar and they're made with finer processing ingredients as close to nature as you can get them. And we have a cult-like following. People just love it. They have fun and they know it tastes better. Uh, one of the secrets of what we do is there are multiple flavor profiles in the, in the item. So for example, our dark almond moonshine truffle bar has about 2,000 flavor notes. A typical truffle might have 1,000 flavor notes and you have six different types of fat in that bar. So when somebody is going to buy an ice cream cone, they're buying an ice cream cone because it's satisfying to the brain. But in this case, they're getting the butter from the cream, they're getting the butter fat from the butter, they're getting butter fat from different uh, chocolates inside it, they're getting the butter fat from a crushed almond paste, and you put all that together, it goes and it hits the brain one after another after another, and because it's all natural, no additives or preservatives, it melts away on the palate. And they're like, wow, that was an incredible experience. And that's just one bar, and we do 50 bars. So it's a really fun experience. At what point did you decide, I'm gonna start a business out of this? Literally, at Hanscom Air Force Base, uh, going on almost 40 years now, I, uh, I decided right then and there, I was going to open up a chain of gyms. Um, and I was going to be in the health field, and uh, I opened up a chain of candy stores. And I had stores in Cape Cod, I had them in Pennsylvania, and uh, this is what we do now, and I love it. We're opening our first franchise in St. Martin uh, soon. Uh, we're opening in other countries, uh, and we expect to open about 100 stores over the next couple years. I want to talk about some challenges, also proud moments. Let's start with some challenges. This doesn't seem like an easy business, especially in the summer, uh, maybe. I don't know. I, I don't care what business anybody's in, there's going to be challenges. Uh, you literally need to put your shoulder down, keep focused, move straight ahead, forget the noise. Uh, when I started out, we had one of the biggest chocolate companies in the world come to us at a show. It looked like we were giving away $100 booths at the show. And they said, are you big enough to supply? And everybody knows the company. And I said, hell no, but whatever fudge I do sell, we best damn fudge they ever had. They laughed, they came over and they said, we want to do business. I subsequently sold them hundreds, if not millions of pounds of fudge. And um, they came in and they said, well, we need to do a, co uh, we want a co-manufacturing agreement and we wanted to inspect your facility. And they came in, I'm 20 some years old and <laughs> I could write a book. I mean, everything that could possibly go wrong went wrong. And the guy says at the end of the audio, he goes, you do realize you failed, right? I go, oh yeah, I know. And, uh, but he liked the fact that we had a trainable, teachable spirit. And he said, we're going to get you some help and we're going to show you what needs to be done. And that started us on a whole nother path. We now can deal with world-class retailers and people that without their help in the beginning, I would have never, never been able to do that. So that was one of the challenges just in the beginning. What's a, a proud moment or a couple of proud moments that stick out? There's quite a few. Um, we have been voted the best fudge in the world. Uh, it's been featured in Candy Industry Magazine. Uh, we were on Good Morning America recently with this line. Uh, we just did, I think, our 24th appearance with QVC over the last probably five months. And uh, we're building two more plants. And um, we've hired 250 people from the Bosnia, Herzegovina, Serbia war when that was taking place. And I was saying, how am I gonna get all the people to make all this candy? Next thing you know, somebody comes in and said, do you need any staff? We have 250 people we're trying to employ. I hired them all, hired more. So those are, those are just good, heartfelt, beautiful things. I work part-time as a missionary and we take a portion of what we do now and we support orphans and build churches and water wells and help so many people. Um, and without the blessings of the business, I couldn't do those things. So it just at the end of the night, when you go to bed and it's midnight, and you're getting up early, you don't mind when you know people are being benefited. It's, it's exciting. Chris, thanks for sharing your story. Where can people find out more? Where should they go online to check it out? 
Well, we have cho chocolatemoonshine.com, um, and they can order on chocolatemoonshine.com. We'll be on QVC June 4th. We'll be on QVC June 8th again. Um, and this is fun, and you'll see us at, if you go to an event. We're again, we're at about 2,000 events a year, uh, and just look for us in grocery and different places for special events. Cho Chocolatemoonshine.com. Oh. Check it out. Thanks, Thank everyone. You. Thank you. What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walk through the fire, came out better on the other side. See, life's like a peach if you find the sand. And right now, I'm feeling like a hundred grand.